So as an angler, I'm out in the countryside quite often and I'm surrounded by wildlife and it's really hard not to pay attention to wildlife. In fact, part of the reason I go fishing is because of wildlife. And this time of year, late May, early June, it's just turning summer. You can see so many different insects and I've been sitting on the riverbank for years and I've been watching these insects materialize and most of the time I don't know what they are. So um, in the last month or so, I've started to get my phone camera out, which I'm holding now. It's a Samsung 22 Plus. It's got a 50 megapixel camera and it's got a pro setting on it. And I've been taking photos of various insects, beetles, flies, and I'm just amazed at the detail I see in them. So I've decided to come down to a bit of a local haunt. It's uh, <clears throat> an area I tend to fish during the winter and in the summer and there's lots of sort of wild flowers, there's wild nettles, there's mint, there's poppies, there's a mixture of all sorts around here and um, I'm going to try and get some interesting insects on camera for you and I've also got a new macro lens which um, will give me 12 times magnification which um, I will stick over the front of my camera on my phone and it'll just enhance the uh, the look and well with a very small field of view compared to a big camera but it's still pretty good um, it's amazing what you can do with a phone camera these days so anyway let's see what we can find There's a beautiful one right there. Let's see if we can get close for a photo. Oh, he's gone, he's come back. No, he's gone just above it. Where is he? There he is. So, I found the other day, it was really cold. We had this cold wind, this unusual late May wind, which was just cold, it felt more like winter. And I came walking along here, change the screen. So, this is in front of me. There was an array of damselflies, all taking shelter all around these rushes. And there's nettles over here. And they were reluctant to move and I could crouch right next to them and get some really good shots which I'll share with you in a bit but in the meantime I'm going to see if I can pick out something perhaps a small damselfly but uh, I'd like to move on if I get too close but let's see how we get on there's one there let's try that It's also worth mentioning that it's really more difficult when it's really windy because they just keep getting up and flying away and 
don't know if you can see one just there. That's in the perfect spot for me if I can get close enough. I'll get a shot. See how we get on. That's a great shot, I'm happy with that. Excellent. But I've just seen something else and I think this is definitely worth a shot. There's a few mayflies still flying around trying to find a mate. They haven't got long left before they probably cease to exist. Although, feel free to correct me on that if you're watching this video. Um, I always thought that they only flew for a certain period towards the end of May. Then uh, they kind of kind of disappeared once the um, the eggs were laid. But uh, let's see if I can get a shot. That's not the greatest shot I've taken of a mayfly, but do for now I think. Let's use the macro lens. Right. See see what else we can find. Other insects. be really quiet. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's there. <laughs> How am I going to do this? Right. You have to be really... Oh, look, he's 
go on. Oh, he's coming right over next to me. Okay, so I've come down to this pond area where I see a lot of dragonflies and I've seen this dragonfly stop here before so if I had a decent camera with a good lens it would be worth setting up here but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you can see it. There it is. Right in the middle of the screen. I'm going to see if I can get a shot of this. I'm not sure how close I'll be able to get but I'll just have to be very, very slow. So that was a real glory moment, getting that dragonfly on camera that close. I mean, I was literally, um, <laughs> I was at such a funny angle uh, with my calves at full tense, trying to not move enough to kind of scare it off. And I managed to get those shots in and I would have liked the uh, head to have been a bit more clearer. So um, um, yeah, I'll have to try and improve that if I get another chance. But this is where I am, small lake in Abingdon. And whenever I've come here, I always see so many dragonflies in spring and summer. And it's a bit of a hot spot, I believe. Um, I didn't realize that until I uh, researched it online. And there's a uh, local photographer who does a lot of research in this area and other similar areas and has taken some amazing photos of dragonflies with a proper camera. I'm using my um, phone, obviously. Sorry, I've just seen another dragonfly as I'm saying this just trying to see where it lands. Anyway, could take a while to get another shot, but we'll keep going. 